Hey you guys, welcome back to See Mindy Mom. I'm Mindy and today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite items that I have ordered on Amazon that have helped me in my weight loss and weight maintenance journey. It has been a while since I've done a favorites video and almost a year since I've done an Amazon favorites video. And I have actually picked up quite a few new subscribers. So if you have been with me for a while, some of these items might be things you've seen me mention before, but I thought that I would go ahead and do a video about some of my favorite things that I purchased from Amazon that have helped me lose 25 pounds on the WW program. I will leave links for all of these products in the description box, as well as a link to my Amazon store, which is where you will find these products as well as lots of other stuff that I recommend that I have purchased from Amazon. And be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm going to save the best for last. I'm going to share with you the number one item that I believe has helped me the most in losing 25 pounds and managing to keep that off. It's the one item, if you were to take nothing else from this video, if you don't already have it, I would highly encourage you if it's within your budget to order it. So I'm gonna start off here with a couple of fitness items and some things that have made it possible for me to get and stay active. First off, I have these athletic compression shorts. These are basically like yoga pants, but they're shorts instead. And so they're not super short. They hit me about mid thigh and I purposely picked these out because they have a pocket on either side and they're high waisted. And I find these to be very comfortable. I wear them when I walk. I wear them when I jog in the warmer weather. I have had these for over a year now. They came in a package of three. I actually have two with me right now. The other ones are in the wash. They wash very well. And I got to tell you, these don't carry an odor at all. Do you know how sometimes yoga pants or workout pants, like after you've worn them some and you've washed them several times, they kind of start to smell a little funky. I have not found that to be the case with these. They are very comfortable. Like I said, high-waisted. They have a pocket, so they come in really handy whenever I want to take my phone to listen to music or podcasts. I cannot recommend these enough. They come in a three-pack and I think they're very reasonably priced. Whenever I get really serious about logging a bunch of miles, either running or walking, I usually go to a specialty store for my shoes. I go to a store that specializes in running shoes, that can watch me walk, that can fit me with shoes, look for any issues, and recommend shoes that might correct those issues. I know a lot of you probably do that as well, or you know that the kinds of shoes that you're wearing when you're working out can be important. What I did not know whenever I got into running about 10 years ago for the first time is that your socks are almost just as important as your shoes. So whenever I started to lengthen my run, over these past six months or so, I noticed that my feet were kind of sore, that my toes were rubbing up against the ends of my shoes. I already knew that I had a really great pair of shoes and so I started to look into good socks. Now, if you're a runner, you probably know about features and I did invest in a pair of features. They can be kind of pricey. They were around $15 a pair. So I was looking for something that maybe wasn't as pricey but might offer some of the same comfort and amenities as a feature sock. And what I decided to try were these and the brand is Dimmick or Demock or Dimock, I don't know. <laughs> but they came in a package of three and I love that they have a really thick heel that comes up above where the heel of my shoe is. There's extra padding on the bottom and the toe and they're a really nice fitted sock. And I have been very impressed with these. In fact, I will go so far as to say that I actually prefer these to my features and these just aren't as pricey as the features either. And they come in a three pack and that three pack is about the same price as one pair of features socks. So I highly recommend these socks be sure to check them out below the other thing I invested in for running and long walks even is this flip belt you just wear it around your waist and then you put whatever you need inside of it basically what this is is like a neoprene spandex fabric tube so it's just a tube of fabric and it has these slits all around where you can put stuff inside of them so you can put like a soft-sided water flasks or if you are doing a long run like I was doing and I had to take fuel for it I had to have something to eat if you are driving somewhere to do your walking or your running you can put your keys in here your phone in here I also think these would come in handy if you like hiking and you just want to do you know some short two three hour hikes and you don't want to have to carry a backpack with you and I'll be honest I thought that these might come in handy too if I was ever visiting a theme park like Disneyland, especially if it's just me or if my kids are grown and you know, I don't want to carry around a purse or a bag or a backpack or a diaper bag. I can fit a lot of stuff in these pockets and just wear it around my waist. <laughs> so there's some uses for the flip belt. And if you are somebody who logs a lot of miles and you're always having to like figure out how to carry stuff with you, this can come in really handy. I don't have a lot of food recommendations because I'm not a huge fan of the internet diet, so to speak. I don't order a lot of food online 
one. I try to just, you know, shop my regular grocery stores, but I do have a couple of food items to share with you. And one of them was recommended to me by one of you, by one of my subscribers. And it is this Noon Water Enhancer Electrolyte Tablet. And I actually saw these at Target today for the first time, but I think they're still cheaper on Amazon. And what this is, is just a tablet, kind of like Airborne. Do any of you guys know what Airborne is? It looks like that. And you just drop it into a 16 or 20 ounce bottle of water and it will turn into basically an electrolyte drink mix. What I like about this is that it doesn't have very many ingredients. It doesn't have the artificial sweeteners that I'm sensitive to. It is sweetened with stevia leaf extract. It's only 15 calories per tablet and the taste is very light. I don't want a really overpowering water enhancer whenever I am trying to replace my electrolytes and my water. I want something that's going to encourage me to drink a bunch. And if you are like me and you live in a place where it gets very hot in the summer, especially a humid heat like we have here in Oklahoma, then staying hydrated is very important and replacing electrolytes. But these I think are much more convenient because again, you can just drop it into a bottled water or a water flask that you carry around with you anywhere instead of having to carry around jugs and jugs of electrolyte drink. I have the watermelon flavor here, but they make it in all different kinds of flavors. I will be sure to leave it linked down below. And thank you to whoever recommended this to me. I really like it, highly recommend. I am not a huge protein drink person anymore. I prefer to get my protein from the food that I'm eating, but I do find that it's nice to have a good protein powder or protein shake to go to occasionally. And I purchased this Tara's Way grass-fed vanilla protein on Amazon a few months back. I like it because the ingredients are really simple. It's dairy whey protein concentrate, organic vanilla, sunflower lecithin, and organic stevia leaf extract. That's it four ingredients. I have found that I'm a little bit sensitive to sucralose and so some of the protein powders or protein drinks I was buying were sweetened with those and they just were not sitting well with my stomach. I really like this one. It's a very mild flavor but it's really great whenever I just want a good protein kick. It has 21 grams of protein for two scoops, 110 calories, 1.5 grams of fat including one gram of saturated fat and four grams of total carbs. I believe that it is one point per scoop so two scoops would be two points on all WW plans and that would deliver 21 grams of protein. I've also sometimes put this in my oatmeal. I've used it to make oatmeal bars for breakfast and I like it because it's a pretty clean protein powder. It doesn't have a super strong taste, but just enough sweetness that it really helps enhance whatever it is that I'm putting it in. My next item isn't actually an Amazon item, but I'm going to recommend an Amazon item because of this item and that is my Carrie L meal planner. And the reason that I like this meal planner is because it has a place on one side to list the meals you're going to make and then your grocery list on the other side and this is perforated so you can tear your grocery list off and take it to the store. Now I know that if you're on WW or you're using iTrack Bites or you're using my fitness pal that you have something to track your meals and your points and your calories, your macros, whatever you're tracking throughout the day. But I find this to be helpful for me as a mom who's trying to maintain healthy habits but also has to feed her family. A lot of times my day and what I ate for the rest of the day would depend on what I was cooking for dinner. I cook one meal for myself and for my family. If you wanna know how I make that work, I have a couple of videos about that and I'll try to leave them linked here and down in the description box. But my family eats what I eat and I find that planning that out throughout the week actually helped me then plan my days whenever I was ready to decide what to have for breakfast and lunch. I believe meal planning is really important to success if you are trying to lose or maintain your weight. But when I went to the Carriel website today, I could not find any of these meal planners that are already printed and bound. The only thing that I was seeing on the website was a PDF purchase, basically where you could purchase the PDF and then you could print it on your own computer. I don't have a color printer and I don't have a way to bind it. And also I really wanted that perforated grocery list on the side. So I found something kind of similar on Amazon that I will be purchasing whenever I run out of pages in my Carrie L meal planner. Now it is not as large as my meal planner because this is basically like a full size spiral bound book. And the planner that I found on Amazon is just a notepad and its dimensions are six by nine, but it's magnetic so it can go on the refrigerator and it does have that perforated list 
so that you can make your grocery list while you are also planning your meals for the week. So I will go ahead and leave that product linked in the description box below as well, just in case you're interested in checking that out since I couldn't find a link for my Carry L meal planner. If you've watched a lot of my videos, especially my what I eat in a day videos, you are no stranger to my silicone popcorn popper. This is something that I use multiple times in a week. It's easy to store. See, it's flat like this. And when I'm ready to pop my popcorn, I just pop the bowl open like this. I put the kernels in the bottom. It has a little guide to tell you how many you can put in there. And then you just put the lid on it. And even though the lids in the middle of the bowl, as the popcorn pops, the lid will rise depending on how much popcorn you're popping, either a half bowl or a full bowl. This especially comes in handy if you are working the purple plan because air popped popcorn is zero points on the purple plan. And I make my own popcorn seasonings that I can put on top of my popcorn and I end up with a zero to one point snack. Now, if you're working the blue or the green plans, air popped popcorn is still a really great snack choice. I think you can have four cups of air popped popcorn for zero points. So if you can find, you know, like an olive oil spray and some seasonings to put on top of it that aren't gonna add very many points, it can still be a really great snack. This thing has already seen a lot of miles. It is no worse for the wear. It was definitely worth the money. It was a very small investment to make for something that I use so often and that has helped me so much on my road to losing weight and maintaining the weight that I've lost. The next thing I have to show you, I actually don't have it in here to show you because it's too big. <laughs> and that is my crock pot, my slow cooker. You guys know if you've watched my channel how much I use that thing. And even in the summertime, I find myself still using it because it does not heat up my kitchen the way that my stove and my oven does. If you are not a cook, if you do not care for preparing food and you're just trying to learn how to do that, which is kind of important if you're trying to lose weight. The crock pot or the slow cooker, whatever you call it, here in the South, we call it a crock pot. There are so many dump and go recipes for the crock pot where all you have to do is just put some stuff in the crock pot with seasonings, put the lid on it, set it to low or high for how, however many hours, and then you come home later on and your dinner's done, it's ready. I have also cooked baked potatoes in the crock pot before. I have made bread in the crock pot. I have made desserts in the crock pot. Nothing does shredded meat, shredded chicken, shredded pork, shredded beef as well well as my slow cooker does. I have also started making my own beans, pinto beans, black beans, refried beans from dry beans, and I use my crock pot to do that. The next thing I really wanna try is making yogurt in the crock pot. I've heard that you can do that, but I'm just telling you, if you don't have any other kitchen gadgets, if you're thinking about, should I get an air fryer? Should I get an instant pot? Should I get a steamer? I'm telling you right now, go for the slow cooker. You will not be sorry. And a few months back, the slow cooker that I'm currently using, the porcelain insert started to crack, so I ordered another one right away because I didn't even want to go one day without having a slow cooker. <laughs> so I will leave both of the slow cookers that I have right now linked in the description box below and you can check them out and see if there's one there that you like. Okay, now it's time for me to share with you my last item and quite frankly, I think the most important item and most useful item I have purchased that has helped me lose weight and maintain my weight loss. And that is my Ozeri food scale. You have seen these in multiple videos. I find it to be so much easier to measure things using the scale than it is using measuring cups. This scale has a tar or tear option. And so you can set your container or your bowl or your plate on here and then you can tar it. Then you can just measure out the number of grams or ounces. It also measures in milliliters. It measures in pounds plus ounces. The other thing I'll do is sometimes set the container of the food that I'm measuring on here, like cottage cheese. I'll put the cottage cheese on here. I'll tar it. And then I'll use the negative balance to determine exactly how many grams or ounces I want to put on my plate, which is next to my scale. This is, in my opinion, more accurate than using measuring cups or measuring spoons. And honestly, it keeps me from having to wash those things throughout the day because I would be going through so many trying to accurately measure my food. And also, I've actually taught my daughter how to use this whenever she's baking because whenever you are measuring flour or sugar or brown sugar or different ingredients for some kind of recipe, especially when it's a cake or a cookie or a bread, this can actually be much much more accurate than my measuring cups are. So I've shown her how to use it as well. So it's really good just to have as just a general kitchen device. And here's the big kicker, you guys. I purchased this scale more than three years ago, three years, and I haven't even had to change the battery. In fact, I had to flip it over and look at it just to be able to tell you that it takes AAA batteries because I've never had to actually replace the batteries in this. I've used it almost every day, multiple times a day for three years, haven't had to change the batteries and it still works beautifully. So I'm telling you, invest 
best in a kitchen scale. I will leave this one linked in the description box below if you wanna check it out. Of course, there are others on Amazon as well. Okay, that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Leave me a comment below. What is your favorite Amazon purchase you have made that has helped you on your road to losing weight, maintaining weight, developing healthy habits, maybe reaching a fitness goal? I wanna know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be sure to check in again very soon. Bye.